isn't going to be quite as warm as what we've seen the past few days. Taking a lot of look now in downtown Macon. Lots of cloud cover. Temperatures now sitting at, let's see, 48 is the number now. By 3 p.m., I'm thinking 56. And then by 7 p.m., 49 degrees. All right, let's look at today's weather headlines. It's going to be overcast and breezy as we head towards the afternoon. The sunshine will return tomorrow and we'll pretty much see low rain chances as we move into the upcoming work week. Temperatures across the board now in the mid to upper 40s to the north and west. Meanwhile, to the south and east to the mid to lower 50s. Yesterday's system that came through is now bringing in cooler air back behind it. It's not only bringing in cooler air, but it's also bringing in drier air. We're looking at the dew point temperatures now and they're in the upper 30s and lower 40s. And that is why we are no longer humid. So yes, you may need a chapstick on your way out the door. Wind speeds right now are currently in the 20 mile per hour range. Some spots in the upper teens like 21 in Macon, 22 in the Millageville, 16 in Butler and 23 in Thomaston. This will be pretty much the same situation as we move into today as tomorrow. Radar right now is clear though. You can actually leave the rain jacket and umbrella at home. The system that came through yesterday is the last little bit of the rain that we saw all week, all week long. And there it is spiraling just to our north and east headed off the eastern coast. Like I said, that wraparound is bringing in that cooler air towards our viewing area as well as some cloud cover that's going to stick around all day today. So let's just track that cloud cover as we move through the day today and the wind speeds. This is 8 a.m. right now. Moving to 10 a.m., I think that's when we become completely overcast for a majority of the viewing area. Our southern counties, maybe not so much. Moving to 4 p.m., that's when we continue this same situation on your way back from church, potentially still cloudy and windy. Now, on your way to school, not much changing. However, coming back from school tomorrow, it looks like we'll be back in the teens in terms of the wind speed, 18 mile per hour. Wind gust seems to be the average. However, we will be mostly clear across the viewing area by the time you guys pick up your kids from school. So that's the good news at the very least. Now, moving into Tuesday, still dry, still no rain chances. However, with this cloud cover coming in, it means a system is on the way. And as we look into Wednesday and the long range models, you'll see the system just to our north. However, models are having to sort of just clip north Georgia, not necessarily central Georgia. I don't think we'll see anything, but of course, we'll keep an eye on it. But for now, I'm going to say, hey, you don't need your rain jacket and umbrella for the most part this entire week. I say go ahead and put them in the closet, the boots too because we're going to be much drier this week compared to last week. And then we have more cloud cover coming in Thursday and Friday, similar to what we have going on now. But let's look at the temperatures to see how that's going to change over the next few days. Like I said, we got cooler air coming in behind the system that came in yesterday. Temperatures in the mid 40s this morning. As we move into the afternoon, we're not going to increase much. Remember, we got cloud cover overhead. Highs barely out of the 50s. And then as we head into Monday morning, lower 40s. So we're cooling off more and more. By Monday afternoon, mid 50s and Tuesday morning, this will be the coldest we get this week, lower 30s, near freezing yet again. So, you know, pets, plants, all that fun stuff. As we head over the next seven days, temperatures getting into the 60s, 60 tomorrow, 61 Tuesday, 63 Wednesday as well. And then as we head into Thursday, it's the first day of February. Friday is Groundhog Day and it will be overcast. That's it. We will have to see if the groundhog sees his shadow this upcoming Friday of the work week.